Hello guys, welcome to another class on Banco Institute. I remain your very own Gideon. Um, on today's class, we'll be looking at the very tools you should be needing as a janitor user, a janitor technician, or even a mechanic. Okay, let's assume you are new to generator repairs. What tools would you be needing? That is what we'll be diving into in this very class. So without wasting much of your time, let's dive straight into the video. The first tool you'll be needing as a janitor technician is the plug spanner. It is no longer news that when your generator uh, refuses to start or while working it goes off, one of the first things you should check is your plug, right? So in that case, what do you do? You, Of course, you should need a plug spanner to be able to lose, lose your plug and then check if the plug is faulty or not. This is one of the most important tools you should need. Even if you are not a technician, you are not a mechanic, but even just as a user, as a generator user, you should have this. Uh, in your toolbox it's very very necessary the second tool i would advise anyone to use is this tool it's very peculiar to technicians in this neighborhood of mine we call it the three-way spanner why is it called the three-way spanner one two three i think perhaps that's the reason it got that name okay this particular um tool comes in different sizes right here we have the eight millimeter size this will be able to lose both with its head and this is the 10 millimeter size this will be able to lose both equally with 10 head and this one is the 13 millimeter however there are other sizes you could have nine here you could have 11 here you could have 12 here but i would personally advise anyone who wants to get this kind of spanner to get the one with 8 millimeter 10 millimeter 13 millimeter or 12 millimeter here should be 13 or 12 so if you can get access to this this is very good because this will serve a lot of purpose just like i'm about to losing the tank here i will lose with an eight spanner and eight um size okay it is losing this presently for some other generators it will come with 10 and at that point i will switch down to 10 and use 10 to lose you see i said this is multi-purpose while it was able to lose the boat for the tank 10 will be able to lose something like this okay not just that, then we'll be able to do something like this, do something like this, okay? And a variety of other um, uh, boats. So you could have 10 boats, 12 boats, uh, 10 boats, uh, 8 boats, and 13 boats. This spanner will be able to lose it. If you still want to go a little bit better, maybe you have good finance, you can get uh, this in different sizes. Why you have this for 8, 10, and 13, you could get the one for 9, 11, and 12, as I've explained earlier. So it's very, very necessary to have this. Another set of spanners I would advise anyone to get is this spanner we we'll call the combination spanner. Okay. There is a reason I ask for this. And there is a reason I always tell any person who is new to genital repairs to get this. Okay. It's because just assume I have a position where this spanner can't get in i want to lose a particular boat or not as the case may be and this spanner can't get in what do i do next i will use the 10 okay something like this a case study is something like this okay let's say i want to lose and i don't have and and of course this spanner can't get into this place like this okay it can't get even if it gets i won't be able to turn it i will use this to quickly lose it out same applies to something like this that is 12 I may have the other spanners and I want to lose that. I won't be able to lose them out. I will use this 12. Okay? I'll use the 12 to lose this out. So, the reason I need a 14 combination as well is because of the valve. Okay? It's because of the valve. If you lose this out, setting a valve, you will need a 14 spanner. A 14 spanner is necessary to set a valve. So, I will need that. But as a young person coming into generator repair, I know you will not be able to touch valve now. So, it may not be necessary to have this but however if you have the required resources to get more of these spanners you can go for the eight look for eight combination 10 combination like this already so you will have 8 10 11 12 13 and 14 just get that okay just get that that will be necessary for you as well but without those as well you can be able to use this and the other spanners i've addressed earlier to basically fix your gen Another we'll be needing is the screwdriver set. Okay, originally I will ask people to get different screwdrivers, different flat screwdrivers, star screwdrivers. 
just different sizes to lose different boats well i do know not everybody will be able to afford something like that especially when you are new to repairs as well so it is necessary you get a screwdriver like this that you can just change easily okay this gives me a flat screwdriver now as it stands this is a flat screwdriver right but this is what i need now i need a star screwdriver i need a star what do i do all i need, need all i need to do now is to pull use this to pull this out okay and now i have a star so getting this screwdriver is very very necessary you need this screwdriver as it's cheaper com when compared to the other screwdrivers you'll be needing all right so go get this guys another you'll be needing is the pliers okay of course the plier is very much needed the plier does a whole lot of things as you all know the plier basically is used for cutting right so anything you want to cut down to a foil hose maybe you get a longer foil hose and you need to trim it to size you will need a plier for it you may need to basically work on this um plug um wire you will need it for it and one of the places where this plier is most necessary is is when you are basically working on your uh, output socket okay inside this chamber inside this um, dashboard you'll be needing the plier a lot just like you also need the screwdriver to do many workings inside so the plier is very very necessary these are one of the relevant tools you should be needing when you are coming into generator repairs or when you as a user you are trying to fix your generator yourself in the absence of a seasoned technician another thing you should need is something like this a spanner like this okay this is a six and seven m size six six and seven mm size this basically has its use only in um the alternator end uh, let's take a look at that For most generators, the Sumer Farmer, the Elepa Constant, and what have you, these screws here, for this magazine, and it came with screws, but for most generators, this part would come with a seven bolt. So that is where you need this. You'll be needing this to basically lose out the seven bolt. Okay? For those that have Sumer Farmer generator and Elepa Constant generator, you understand better what I'm talking about. And this also will be used inside the generator to lose out the AVRO very very important so it is highly necessary you get this another tool you should get it's the multimeter the multimeter is very very important because that will help you to basically test your generator for voltage for current and some even for continuity it is highly necessary another thing you should get another tool you should get it may not really be a tool but it's very important for your generator is the oil funnel okay it is highly necessary you get the oil funnel the oil funnel basically will help you uh with your generator changing the oil of your generator let's assume you have something like this your oil is down and then of course because i explained earlier why you need this 10 will be able to do this okay you lose out with the 10 and you drain out your oil you will need to refill back because of the space that we have here you can not just actually use the can and turn the oil directly you need a funnel so it is highly necessary you get a funnel to help you out so guys that is it from us for this particular uh, video if you haven't subscribed to this channel honestly i really do not know what you are waiting for on this channel we drop everything that relates generator repairs maintenance and even troubleshooting as a matter of fact uh, we've been able to reach a lot of people through this and a lot of people have come back to appreciate us So if you are new to this channel, please do well to subscribe and turn on the notification bell So when other videos are posted, you are among the first to see them so Kindly share to friends and family so they know what they are So they know what we are building on this channel 